G'day folks, welcome back to Throttle Down Under. Welcome to the channel. We're out here at Penrith Suzuki, about to take the Suzuki Jimny for a test drive. Now the Jimny is a brand new model of the original Colt Classic. So let's see if it lives up to all of the hype. your first time on the channel folks thank you for coming to throttle down under we do a bunch of car and motorcycle reviews we attend motoring events and we also this year are doing a bunch of motoring adventures as well so uh, make sure you hit subscribe follow along welcome to throttle down under but for today we're talking about the suzuki jimny and the brand new suzuki jimny in fact it's just arrived on our shores this week and i've had an opportunity to drive it now, my experience of the Jimny comes from a really good mate of mine, Timmy. He's an absolute fanatic, and I'm gonna pop up a couple of photos of his rig um, in the lead up to this video. But the Jimny scene is a cult scene. There's people that love their Jimnys, are absolutely passionate about them, and uh, for the smallest of four-wheel drives, they're probably one of the most capable four-wheel drives on the market. Now I'm talking about up until the 2018 model, um, one of the most capable four-wheel drives on the market. Now the 2019, the one we're jumping in today, we don't know yet. We're assuming and hoping that it's going to live up to the standards of the original, but it's yet to be seen. So anyway, let's jump into the new Jimny with Nicole from Suzuki Penrith, and uh, let's have a look at whether the new one lives up to the standards of the original classic. Ciao. to break a jimmy all right all right very hard to break a jimmy welcome to the suzuki jimmy test drive this is nicole and she's going to tell us all about the car on the way around our test drive so i assume we're going this way yes go right and we're going to go down um it's just really going around down the back area here where there's no one around beautiful so the new jimmy has got the hill descent control and it's also got a hill holder it's a 1.5 liter and how cool does this look? It's a very nice dash. <laughs> yeah. A big I step love up the, the river look. The river yeah. look is so cool. A little, and then a little bit modern, a little bit traditional. Windscreen is um, designed from yeah, right. Windscreen is designed from um, vehicles that are in the army and their windscreens that just blocks out the sun so right. it doesn't shoot shoot you in the eye. Yep. Very light in the steering. Very light. Really good gears. And I really think that this looks like a bit like the Wrangler a little bit in the where they have their little buttons for the yeah, windows and whatnot. Yeah. I mean there's there's some cue points that have come from Jeep and uh, straight ahead. Straight ahead, yep. yeah. Very retro design. I yep. love I love that they went retro but with modern. Yes, yes. That's the best. I'm a fan of that with all vehicles, motorbikes, cars. And so what are these um, rolling out at drive away? So drive away for a manual, for a white. So this is white I'm talking about only, <laughs> colors extra. Um, so white manual is 27,990 drive away. And the auto is 29,990 drive away. Uh, right. If you want a color, which is your, your jungle green, your gray, um, and the silver, that is gonna cost you an extra $500 on top. Right. And if you want the kinetic yellow, the brisk blue, or the ivory chiffon, you're looking at another $12.50 on top of the driveway price. Right, so it's okay. still affordable for a full drive on the road. You know, five year factory warranty with Suzuki now. Five years, well. Five years. And the best thing is, it does have a satellite navigation system. Lovely. And it's also got the rear camera software is in here, but we're going to install it. Suzuki are going to send us the actual cameras. So right, okay. That's going to be a dealer installation. Lovely. Or 
all covered under factory warranty. Though. Beautiful. That's good news. You've got your USB here. You've got your 12 volt outlet here. You've also got a 12 volt outlet at the back. You've also got your media. So no CDs. Goodbye CDs. <laughs> yeah, You've right. got your iPod, USB, Bluetooth, SD card for all music. Yeah. Uh, you've got your Bluetooth and you've got your smartphone link for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Right. Lovely. And what sort of a uh, waiting list is on these at the moment? Get in quick or you're not going to get one. Okay, that's good to know. Get that in is quick it. or you're not going to get one. That, that's it. <laughs> uh, with the pre-orders have nearly sold out this vehicle in the first release. So, um, yeah, if you really want to get into one, a lot of our customers aren't even buying with a test drive or coming in and viewing it. They've bought it solely because of how popular they are in Japan. Right. In Japan, they made 12 months worth of vehicles. They projected 12 months worth, yep. and they were sold out in a month. So, they're a popular car. Yeah, very popular. And the little elephant in the room, the safety rating that's just come out, three stars. Yes. Is uh, Suzuki happy with that? Yep. Yeah. No Most people that, okay, people that are buying this car, this isn't going to be mum and dad driving the kids to soccer practice on a Saturday morning. Yep. I mean, they could do that. Yep. This is for adventure. This is yeah, for fun. Absolutely. For fun's sake is going to be our new brand yep. motto. Um, and this Jimny certainly portrays it. So. Lovely. And I guess a lot of people are rigging it up with bull bars and... and One. Michael Pachota from Suzuki Australia has already done so. Yeah. Um, through ARB. So you right. can go and look that up. ARB is so. already to go. Yeah, give them a buzz. If yep. you buy a Jimny and you want to check it out, go to them. Beautiful. Nicole, thank you so thank much you. for your time. Back no. in the studio after driving the Suzuki Jimny today. Now, we were promised a 30 minute session in the car. I got less than five minutes. So it wasn't Suzuki Penrith's fault. They weren't delivered the amount of cars that they were supposed to be. So therefore they took on too many bookings and had to condense that down into one car. So literally I only got five minutes in the car. So I can't give you an honest opinion uh, on what I think of the Jimny because I didn't have enough time in it. Essentially, the reviews that we do for Throttle Down Under, we generally have a car for between three and six hours to give a good quality review and offer our honest opinion about what we think is good and what is not good about a certain car. As I said, it wasn't Parent Suzuki's fault, but the fact is that I had five minutes behind the wheel of the Jimny. Now the staff out at Penta Suzuki were amazing. Nicole that jumped in the car with me, she's a wealth of knowledge. And if you're interested in taking this car for a test drive, head on out to Penrith, ask for Nicole, and you'll get every bit of information that you want for the car. And hopefully you'll get a longer test drive than I had. So all I can say is for the five minutes that, that I was in it, yes, the Jimny has the potential, to live up to the reputation that the original had. Uh, yes, the new Jimny has more tech, uh, more comfortability, and still the fun factor of being a Suzuki Jimny, a small four-wheel drive. And I'm almost certain that it would be just as capable off-road as the original as well. Um, for those of you that know the Jimny, they can put some of the most expensive four-wheel drives to shame when you're out in the bush or on the sand or anywhere. Um, I've seen Jimny's get through some terrain that's a $100,000 four-wheel drive can't get through. So look, the Jimny in theory is fantastic. I think it's got the potential to be amazing like the original, but I can't tell you for sure as I just didn't have enough time in it. But guys, I appreciate uh, you watching the video. Um, hopefully I'll get some more time in the Jimny soon and maybe even an opportunity to take it off-road. Suzuki Australia, hit me up. I want to take one of these cars off-road and have a little bit of fun in it. Um, please subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Jimny. Do you think the new Jimny looks as good as the old one? Like Have you driven it? Do you think it is as good as the old one? Let me know what you think. I'm Until next time, guys, throttle on and thanks for watching. I got time, it's clear to see. Use car sales to contact reception. The world seems small. We can sit together.